she said could be used against him. <clears throat> I'm going to skip over some other things and go to Monday, January 19th, 2004. John Mott called me. He asked that while we are trying to resolve this situation privately, we advised the public that Brenda had decided to no longer work and that she had retired. <laughs> I told John, we are telling anyone who asked that, quote, Brenda no longer works here, end quote. <clears throat> now I'm going to move forward almost a year to the day. The date is Friday, January 14th, 2005. On January 13th of 2005, John Mott's wife was arrested and indicted. So what I'm reading to you now comes from the diary dated Friday, January 14th, 2005. And there's an employee mentioned in this that I'm not going to mention the employee's name. I'll refer to them as an employee. John Mott came in the office at 7.40 a.m. to, quote, pay his bill, end quote. Another employee went to the front desk and John said he wanted to pay his bill. That employee came to my office and said someone wanted to pay their bill. That employee remained in the front office area out of John Mott's sight. John Mott asked me if I was celebrating today. I told him there was no reason to celebrate. John Mott said he thought we would have a parade today. I did not respond. John Mott then stated, now you have to prove it. You will have a hard time proving it. I did not respond. He left mumbling 